Hi everyone, today we're going to learn about how to get sound or more specifically narration into your video. In this case we're going to use GarageBand and as I've explained before you can get your video into GarageBand by compressing it in your editing program and then simply dragging it in when you create a movie track in GarageBand and you can see it up here um, on my GarageBand version here and here's the preview of where my playhead is up to. So if I just put it to the spot roughly where, well not roughly actually, where I want it and uh, it's going to be right after this little bit here. It's a very very quick bit and then that's ready for me to record sound but before I record sound I need to make sure that the audio input levels are okay and on a Mac it's good to go into system preferences and check on your sound because often it'll go to the built-in sound and that's where it was just before before I chose my Samson Go Go mic which is this little device here that I plugged into my USB port so make sure it's picking up the right audio and then set it to the lowest level you can so that it doesn't pick up background noise if you if you choose just the highest level you see that it's just picking up slight noises in the background. If you've got people talking or a loud um, electronic device, then it'll pick up lots of that background noise. So let's make it lower than that because I've got a reasonably strong voice and you want it popping up probably to about that three quarter mark, about that 75% mark. You don't want it peaking out here. And when you're happy with that, go like so. And then in GarageBand, you can just check as well. So preferences. There's my Samson Go mic. Make sure that it's got the right device. And that's all good. And now we can see the audio levels there in the narration control. I've got it at the right spot and I'm ready to record. So I'm just going to simply press on the record button and hopefully this will actually work. Watching the replay and there it is. That's a goal. Fantastic goal. Comes down the wing. He looks strong. Passes. No, he's gone for the goal. It is a goal. Another goal. Goal to Handoff. Oh, let's have a look at that in the replay. A beautiful little chip by K. Mewitt into the air. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance as it went into the back right corner. And aren't his teammates excited? Tremendous stuff. We stop it. And if we've done that well, we can play it back. And we'll be able to hear that. And already you can see that when I got excited there, it peaked out. You can see those flat levels. And I might want to record it again. But I can see from my waveforms over here, when I'm speaking normally, that would be quite fine. And you can play around with that. So it's as easy as that. The main points are that you uh, get a good device, plug it in. I like to use USB devices because then you don't have to worry about powering it from a power switch. It uses that phantom power from the computer. Watch your audio levels. Choose the minimum amount possible to get across a nice audio level depending on your voice strength. And then it's a matter of trial and error. Listening back, making sure it's not peaking out too much. Might need to record it. Try and keep your mic about maybe a fist away from uh, the actual mic itself or sorry keep your mouth about a fist away from the mic itself but you might want to vary it depending on the strength of your voice or how much background noise you've got okay i hope you've learned something today and i look forward to speaking to you again